How's it going YouTube? I trust you're all well. Tony Brown again with another Akai MPC sampling video. And in this video, I just want to show you how you can set up your Mac to be able to sample off your computer. So you can sample from places like YouTube and other places like that. So let's get into it real quick. There's a few things you're going to need. And first and foremost, what you're going to need is a small little application called Soundflower. So let's just do a quick Google search for that. There it is. And there's a few options that are going to come up. Um, I've got no affiliation with any of these websites. I just want to download the software. So I'm going to click on this one here because this is the one I use to download. That will download onto your, your hard drive or into your downloads. You should be pretty familiar with how to install that onto your, onto your Mac. Once you've got it installed, what you then need to do is you don't need to change any of the settings in Soundflower. It's a real simple bit of software. There's not really much you need to do. You'll see here, um, it just opens up at the top of the browser here. Um, I've got it set to none on both of these options here. So it's got Soundflower channel two. I've turned that to none off and Soundflower 64 channel. I've turned that to off as well. I'm not really too sure about what all the settings mean, but it works this way for me. So that's the initial setup with Soundflower. Then what you need to do is go to your launch pad and open up your other folder over here and look for audio MIDI setup. Click that and that will open up this window here. Now you won't see all of this because I've already set mine up. So you'll probably get here and you'll only have built-in inputs and built-in outputs. You may have some other options depending on what your current setup is. But what you need to do is to go to this plus sign here and create a multi output device. That's what you want to do. So you'll click that and it will create a multi output device. Once you've done that, you go over to your settings here and you will click and select built in output and Soundflower channel two. And then over here where it's got uh, drift correction, I've just selected drift correction there for sound flower two. Once you've done that, you're more or less ready to go. All you'll then do is go to your audio settings. So go to your systems preferences, go to your sound settings and just select the multi output device there. So anytime you're ready to jump on your MPC and do some sampling, always select your multi output device. What I find I do is switch between the two. So I'll switch between headphones, and my multi output device. When I'm sampling, I'll put it on multi output device. When I'm monitoring and mixing and whatever, I will put it on headphones. The reason I do that, and the reason I recommend you do that, is because the, with the multi output device, you can't control the volume. So you'll see there, I'm pressing to turn the volume up and down, and it won't turn up or down. If I put it on headphones, you'll hear it turns it up and down. So just bear that in mind. So we're going to select multi output device. So that's set. And then we'll go to, um, let's just go to, to YouTube real quick. And let's find something to sample. So we'll just go to, let me just move this over. So we'll go to the MP and we will select, it's already selected sample record. And I'm just going to play the sample here. I'll just play this. So you can see there when I was playing it, the signal was coming in to the MP. So again, I'll play it again on split screen. And if I want to sample that, then I'll just sample as normal. Hit record. And then you'll see, there it is. So I've just pulled that sample straight off YouTube. And there it is, ready to go. So it's as simple as that. So again, all you need is Soundflower. You can download that for free offline. You set up your, create a new multi output device, add Soundflower channel two, and then set that up in your systems preferences under sound, select that, and you're good to go. So that's it. That's how you would set up your Mac to be able to sample from YouTube. So I trust you found that useful. If you did, then please like and subscribe. 
And if you haven't already done so, make sure you check out my other sampling beat making videos where I'll take you through a process of making a beat from scratch. Just check the, check the videos below and I will see you again in another video. All the best. God bless. Take care.